Wait, Bobby Brown isn't Bobby Brown anymore? No, in 2016, she sold her company to Estee Lauder. She doesn't even own her name anymore. What? It's true. In 2016, Bobby Brown sold her company and along with it went her name. So when she wanted to launch a new company, she went with Jones Road Beauty, the What the Foundation, Miracle Balm, and Face Pencil. My skin description is here next to me. The Jones Road What the Foundation is a moisture tint is what they say. This is what it looks like and you can see, at least to my eye, that looks really broken up. I mean, clearly there's a lot of moisture in here, but to me, it looks broken up. I assure you, it is not. This is the product. The Face Balm is a thicker product, much thicker, and it comes in a wide range of shades. This one, even though it looks quite dark in the container, is actually super sheer. These balms can be used as blush, as highlighter, any place you want a little color. The foundation runs $44, the face balm runs $38, and the face pencil is $25. The face pencil is a really soft formula. It goes on easily, and then you can just tap it to blend it in. In this video, I am testing all three of these products. Jones Road products are only available at jonesroadbeauty.com. Today I'm using the Jones Road Face Pencil for concealer. It is a very soft formula and I really like how it goes on. I don't usually put concealer under my nose, but I thought, what the heck, I've never used a pencil concealer before, I'll give it a try. I really like how it goes on. Because it's a creamy pencil formula, it stays in the area where I put it, unlike my experience with cream foundations that kind of go all over and I have to try really hard to only get a little bit. I did really appreciate that about this concealer. And I have a zip that I'm trying to cover up and just some redness in general to see how it works for combating that. This is the Jones Road What the Foundation Tinted Moisturizer. It comes in a nice heavy glass jar you can see it is extremely creamy. It's very soft and you can completely see the oils in the tint. Not surprisingly, it feels much more like skincare going on than a foundation. And you can see the shine. And if you know anything about me and my foundation, I do not like shine. So shiny and I can smell geranium oil. Here's my final makeup in indirect natural light, direct sunshine, LED lighting, yes, in my closet, and flash photography. This is what I want to know. How can a foundation that feels so much strictly like skin care actually collecting a wrinkle? What? Uh, yes. Into one of the four. Okay, so not the worst foundation, right? In normal mirror, it looks good, although I feel like I look like death warmed over, which is surprisingly not a look I'm going for. I will say that, yeah, under my eyes, just looks awful and tired, and I don't know if that's the day I've had, which is entirely possible, or that pencil, so we're gonna have to figure that out here in the next couple of days. Uh, it's a little broken up, on the forehead. Not bad, nothing you see in a regular mirror, but the 10X tells all. 
I will say, however, though, for as shiny as it was this morning, I have not retouched it at all. So I did the Wayne Goss powder, I did the It by By Pores compressed powder, and I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So between those three, they knocked down the shine and they have kept the shine at bay for an entire eight and a half hours. This product has geranium oil in it and I am allergic to geranium oil. I've got a huge zit on the side of my cheek. Today may be my last day of testing because I'm afraid if I keep testing this foundation, I will end up with a rash someplace else on my body. That is how my geranium oil allergy manifests itself. I am going for my most mattifying look today. I am using my Australian Gold Sunscreen, which I usually only use in the summertime. I am using the Shiseido Wasso Poreless Matte Primer. I'm using the RCMA Original No Color Powder to set it today. Today I am using the Magic Balm for Blush in the shade Magic Hour. Before we do today's check-in, let's talk about the blemish I got yesterday. I mentioned a while ago I'm an aerospace engineer. I'm also a certified aromatherapist. There is an ingredient in this foundation that is really uncommon to find in cosmetics. It's geranium oil. Geranium oil is an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory oil. It is really good for dry skin, also calming sensitive skin. So I guess based on that, it's not surprising to find it in this foundation. However, I think this is truly the only product out of the hundreds and hundreds of products between makeup and skincare that I have tested over the years that I have ever found that had geranium oil. It has a very distinctive scent. And if you have purchased this foundation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You may not have known that's what it was, but smelling it, you know. Having said that, let's talk about today where I did everything I could to make it work in terms of I didn't like how shiny it was day one, so I used all my mattifying products today. Let's take a look and see how this is performing close up. So as you can see, it has settled into deep lines. It's totally broken up. It's looking even worse than it looked yesterday. Admittedly, yesterday it wasn't too terribly bad, but today I feel like it's terribly bad. So yeah, not happy. And given the geranium oil situation, I don't know that I want to keep testing this. I did just use the other Jones Road product, the blush, and it did give me a nice like no makeup makeup look. It's glowy. Um, I didn't really know how much this stuff would sheer out. I had an idea it would be a lot though. And the color I actually really wanted to try, they were sold out of it. It looks like kind of a shocking fuchsia, but I know once it sheared out, it would be beautiful. So maybe I'll give like the pencil and the blush one more day of trial. I don't know. I hate returning stuff, but this stuff is really letting me down. I think if you have extremely dry skin, you might enjoy this, but skin that really sucks stuff up <laughs> because it is so shiny, even letting it dry for five minutes, it doesn't dry down that much. It certainly is still shiny. Powder really does knock down the shine, so at least it's got that going for it. Let's talk about the face pencil first. I gotta say I really liked it under my eyes because it goes on, it's soft, right? It's not a hard pencil. I'm not exactly sure what the ingredients are, but it's very soft. 
but unlike a liquid concealer, it doesn't move out much. It doesn't spread much because it's not liquid. So I really like that when I put it under my eyes, it stayed there. It didn't move, it didn't migrate, didn't settle into lines. So really, really like this under my eyes. What I didn't like is how it did not cover the big fat zit on the side of my face. So I think if you want to use it for brightening under eyes or even you know highlighting, you could definitely do that. If you're trying to cover something, maybe not so much. Then we've got the Miracle Balm. And I gotta say, I like this stuff. So, you know, this shade is Magic Hour and it is just the most subtle shade. I think if you're super, super fair, this would be a really lovely color uh, for me, kind of light to medium tone. Uh, it is just kind of a no makeup makeup look. I will say though that this suffers the same problem that the foundation does, which is it is shiny, shiny, shiny. And unless you're hunting Pokemon, you don't want that. I wouldn't mind trying this in some of the other shades, but honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna bother with that or not. So as you can see, I did not have a good experience with this moisture tint. And in fact, I decided to return it. That's how bad it was, largely because of the geranium oil in it. Like I just, I can't use it because it will break me out. I know from other experience with geranium oil, it could cause a rash somewhere else on my body. So that was just a non-starter. It's very easy to do returns. You put in your order number and your email on the website, they bring it up. They ask you, not surprisingly, hey, you know, can we send you a different shade? Is there something else you'd like to buy? And you just go, no, 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 I just want my money back. Well, at least for me and at least for the What The Foundation, they said, okay, we'll refund your money. You don't have to bother sending the product back to us. So on the one hand, that was really nice. Like I can't imagine that they can do anything with it anyway. On the other hand, with that geranium oil in there, I am never going to use this again. So I guess I'll see if any of my friends want to try it. I really liked the Miracle Balm. It's, um, it is quite shiny, uh, just like the foundation, but it does give a nice wash of color, a nice no makeup makeup look. I can see in the summertime it's going to make a great highlighter. If you're enjoying this content, show me a little YouTube love down below, subscribe and hit that bell. Definitely my favorite product is this face pencil. And while I didn't have good luck covering a zit with it, it was really good under my eyes. I really like how I got very precise placement and then because I tapped it out, it stayed where I wanted it. It didn't migrate. It didn't settle into lines and wrinkles because I didn't put it into my lines and wrinkles. So uh, for me, this actually is the product I am most excited about out of all three. If you liked this foundation review, you're gonna love this one right here on Il Maquillage. It was actually a foundation that worked for me. It'll be linked in just a moment along with a playlist of all of my foundation reviews. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day.